Hey guys, welcome back to Typo's Garage. Um, I'm gonna be actually working on the Hawk again today. Um, it's been a while. Really haven't started it or said much about it over the winter, but um, I think I started it one time over winter in these new lithium battery uh, setup that I put in uh, started right up. I didn't have to charge it, which is crazy to me. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna put this on hold for a little while so I can work on this so it's ready in case the other thing that I'm getting this weekend tomorrow uh, isn't done by the time I need to go on my little riding trip so uh, more on that in the next video um, I'll do a reveal so um, all right So today I'm going to be taking, long story short, I've been trying to figure out the jetting for this carburetor being at 7,000 feet here. From the factory, I think it's an 88. Uh, there's a lot of misinformation. I can't figure out what the stock jetting is for this, um, but I think it's an 88. Um, I had a 110 when I lived in Pennsylvania because I was at about a thousand feet and that seemed to be good. When I came out here, it was smoking, kind of running, felt like the top end wasn't there, like it was kind of bogging out. So I went down to, back to the stock jet, which I still, they're not labeled. Here's the stock one. I don't know what it is exactly. Um, it might be a hundred, not totally sure, but what I'm gonna try is a come on a 98 I'm gonna do a 98 and do two and a half turns out on the carb um, a lot of people are saying the hundred with two and a half turns out is good um, but I that was about a thousand feet lower than where I'm at so uh, we're gonna try that out and see the 88 that I put in yesterday to test out uh, it's starving for fuel up in the higher rev range it runs really good everywhere else so I'm gonna go up a little bit and uh, from there if it's running pretty good we can mess with the clip on the needle um, so we'll try that
guys have this issue with your airbox? This bending here? I tried to zip tie it, obviously that didn't work. I might put like a tube inside here to try and fix that. But let's see if it's smoking at all. Not completely warmed up yet but let's go see uh, what this does with uh so when i adjusted the uh air to fuel mixture screw it was at one and a half turns out um everybody at elevation with the stock uh jet and everything said two and a half turns out so that could be an issue um so i'm pretty close to where i was originally where i was Getting up to like 50, 55 maybe. Uh, it just wasn't enough. So let's see here. I'm gonna warm up for a second. Um, I'll be able to tell immediately. Oh, it's better. So right when I got up to I don't know, maybe four or five thousand RPMs is when it would start to stutter. Uh, I'm gonna take it out on the main road where I can get up to like to the 40s and see where I'm at here. Seems to be running pretty good. It's a still a tiny bit of hesitation at the top just a little bit but it's it's leagues above where it was yesterday so we'll see in a second but I'm really thinking that uh, the hundred is gonna be where it needs to be oh it's windy oh my god I have to drive down to Phoenix with a u-haul because everybody moved out um, uh, everybody moved out and used them all, so uh, I have to drive two hours with a U-Haul with all this wind. There's a wind advisory, which is kind of scaring me. So, all right, let's see what this thing wants to do here. Pretty good. I'm at 40. Cruising, if it's right. Let's go a little further and see uh, see what we can do here. If it goes up over 50, so let me back up a little bit. Oh, check out the mountain. I still have not been able to get up top of there uh, because. Uh, there was a big fire up there before, um, huge fire, 20,000 acres or something, and what happened was somebody burned their uh, ship paper, and it burned like 20,000 acres because of that. Uh, so they really restrict the roads. There's a road that snakes all the way up the back, and you can actually get all the way up to that uh, fire tower up there I'd love to do that but might be a better job for the next bike a bike I'm getting and I don't want to say too much about it but uh, it will be on the channel all right come on uh, that's why all right we should be able to open up a little bit here all right let's see here Tumbleweed. Oh, it's running. 
running so much better. Holy cow. I really do think that 100 is going to be the next move here. Uh, because it's a little, little hesitant at the top. I should be able to get a little further on it. Um, so, uh, too late. I was going to turn around right here, but let's go up through these neighborhoods here. So in, in a lower gear like this, when I would crank on it, it would just go da 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 but you can see it's not doing that, it's, it, but it's just short of enough fuel. I think the air mixture fuel has helped tremendously, so. Oh, it sounds good. Sorry if it's windy. Uh, my mount here will not let the shield come down all the way for the windshield here. All right, I gotta be careful here. I'm gonna sit someone on a golf cart here before. That house actually is the founder of Ping, you know, the golf clubs. Um, there's a lot of money in Flagstaff here. Uh, and it's money that has astounded me. Like, look at that house. What the heck is that? Uh, coming from Pennsylvania, people have money, but not like fu money out here this is uh crazy um you know it was my choice to move out here but uh the the rent median rent here in flagstaff makes it one of the most expensive cities to rent in in the united states right now uh, average is like 2200 or something for a a rent crazy i do love it here though The power is so much better. This is really good. So, I don't know if you guys are interested, but uh, in my last video with that XV250 uh, or the V-Star, I uh, mentioned that Super Clean has sent out some stuff to me. Um, they reached out to me again to see if we wanted to do a, a giveaway. Um, let me know if you guys would be interested and maybe in uh, the next video I'll start something up and it'll be a couple of things like that aerosol can that I uh, I use to clean the frame if you guys watch that and then also just like a, a, a bottle spray. Um, let me know. Um, I can totally do that and uh, we'll figure out, yeah, I guess you would have to be subscribed and uh, maybe comment on the video. I got to get over a certain amount of comments. All right, guys. Uh, I think we're getting close to uh, the right tuning here. I'm going to throw in the 100, and I will uh, let you know how that works out. And uh, I'll let you know exactly what my elevation is and uh, the relative density of the air here. Uh, that may help you. Uh, it all depends on all that. So until next time, guys, uh, watch for the... The next video on the bike that I'm getting this weekend, the project, uh, it's what I like to do. I like getting these shit, shitty condition bikes and uh, helping them out, giving them a second life. You know, it takes me a while and I'm learning and learning, but you know, honestly, the V-Star bike was uh, a huge accomplishment for me because all of the uh, wiring, everything was taken off that frame, you know. So, uh, for it to start up again is uh, huge. So, all right, guys, uh, appreciate you watching and make sure you are subscribed um, and hit the notification bell so you can see all my vids coming out. Um, now that it's nice out here, I'm going to try to do a lot more and keep up with it this summer. Last year was, uh, you know, a year of kind of figuring everything out, you know, moving halfway across the, or across the country was huge so all right once again i appreciate you guys uh, until the next one peace